What we're we gonna do right here is go back. Monday night, Brady Quinn and the Cleveland Browns looked like Brady Quinn and the Cleveland Browns. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> like Greg Except Brady. There, there, was, there was one situation where Furry or somebody uh, bounced the pass off his chest for a pick. Now, as the Ravens defense turns around and starts setting up blocks for a touch, you know, to make a pick six out of it, Brady Quinn goes low on Terrell Suggs. And it, it was a, was it a cheap shot or not? Well, we about to look at this shit and break it down. Right? Man, go ahead, go ahead, Don. Let me kind of color, color, color analyze this shit. Now, the pick has already been made. Is that correct, Hood Guru? Yeah. All right, now, my man, the safety, whoever it is, I don't know his name, he's coming. Now, here's Brady Quinn. He goes low on Terrell Suggs. What the fuck is number eleven doing, man? Now let, let's start. With, let's start with uh, Muhammad Massaqua. Go back. Back it up. Number eleven. Go I back a little more. It, Go it, back a little more. He's like he's squirting the motherfucker. Yeah. Massaqua is leading <laughs> the way. Like come what this way. Fuck? Score on like, it. Come on, come on. I got this block. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at this from a defensive <laughs> or you know, like I just threw a pick. I'm thinking this. <laughs> what you said about me? <laughs> now look look at Massaqua. He he dodges him and he's running, leading the way. What the fuck? Yeah, what, what the fuck? No wonder you play offense, you dumb motherfucker. Now 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 that's one. Now go back again, click it back again one more time. Now, if you're Brady Quinn, why? Why are you going low? He should have got outside, dog. He should if you're Brady Quinn, you wanna take the you take the outside, you got all that all the Cleveland Browns on the inside. Why the hell wouldn't you just go to the outside and try to stop this motherfucker? Y'all got numbers. I mean, look at him. It's damn near like you know, everybody's at the store in line and shit. Like, yeah, my turn next, nigga. You know and he goes low on somebody to the inside instead of staying to the outside, forcing it back in. I'm pretty quick trying to take his ass out, dog. He must have been tapping that ass the whole night or something. Or maybe a game or two ago, right. you know what I'm saying? And Brady Quinn was like, see, look at him. He's doing a little, ah! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, that play to me was out of sheer frustration that he fucked up and threw another pick. Because I think that was like his third pick of the night. Sick. You know what I'm saying? Now, if, if a defensive player would have did some shit like that to a quarterback, and I mean any quarterback, he would have got fined a game check. Man. He'd have been looking at a possible suspension. Indeed. And be called a dirty player. Show sure up. Now this motherfucker, I don't know how bad Terrell Suggs was injured on that shit, but that was a dirty play. Intentionally or non-intentionally, that shit was dirty. That was fucked up. Yeah, it was fucked that up. That was some fucked up your career could be over shit. Thank you. And you all the motherfucker got fined was 10 grand. And they call your boy the worst player? Yeah, exactly. It, it, just on that just on that hit alone, you should be in the top ten Man, dirty players. For real, for real. I mean, damn. That was some fucked up shit. Thank you. Man, turn the camera one more time. I just got a problem with this little statement, man. Genie welcomes LeBron. So all you basketball motherfuckers that love basketball and think LeBron is fucking Earl Campbell or somebody, please somebody put LeBron in some pads and teach this motherfucker a lesson. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that he needs to be taught the lesson. He played a little football. I think the motherfuckers that, that, that love LeBron need to realize that, man, football ain't no joke, man. Yeah. These motherfuckers are big, hard, and hungry. You know what I'm saying? And they'll fuck that, say, it, right? He looks real swollen against a motherfucker 6'7", 195. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looks real big against them. Fuck with a motherfucker that's 5'9", 250. Yeah. <laughs> See what happened then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Little difference. Yeah. Oh, uh, my man that owns uh, the Tennessee Titans. Oh, uh, he went gangster with it. Fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. Now, I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> where have you ever seen it? He's like 85. He was like the, the six shooter with the fuck you signs. An old 85 year old man goes out there after his team won. On a victory. On a victory. <laughs> and goes out there and goes, fuck y'all, nigga. What? What, nigga? What? What, motherfucker? Fuck y'all. Suck my dick. Wow. Wow. That's a feisty old man. Uh, and yeah, uh, he, des he deserved to get fined $250,000. I forgot how much they fined Michael Vick for hitting him up. Uh, back in the day, I don't know if some of y'all young that watched the Chop Shop, Brian Cox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played Buffalo. Yeah, yeah he, he hit gave up, it up. He hit up the Buffalo fans <laughs> coming out of the stadium. <laughs> 
y'all. He gave it up. He got fined. He might even got suspended back then. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. So, you know, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, now, in comparison to the punishment, you know what I'm saying, so that they, they give, they, Chad Johnson fucking plays a little prank, a little dollar joke, you know what I'm saying, act like he bribing somebody. They charge him 20000 I mean, I don't know the percentage. God damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One dollar, twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand. What's that? Twenty thousand percent? What? <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Yeah, that's a lot. But uh, you gotta give it up to the old man. Bill. He must, even though I think him and the owner of the Bills are friends, he really don't like somebody in Buffalo to after a win hit Buffalo fans up like fuck y'all, motherfucker, <laughs> fuck y'all. So that, it, that was fun. And he was in a blue gangster suit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of Tennessee. He, yeah. You know, like he played the blues and shit. He yeah. barbecue. you. It's like, fuck all y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? He deserved to get fined. Your owner, you're, you're grown as hell. You're grown four times over. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you deserve to get fined. Hey, all I like to say is, if the owners is doing that, what the fuck do you expect the players to do, man? Son. Don't get mad. Let the NFL live, man. You know what I'm saying? Let it breathe. Let, let it breathe a little bit. Let you know, chop shop, baby.